brief overview of the FileMaker 16 REST API. Um, so let me go ahead and get started, get into my Windows Parallels version, and uh, where I have FileMaker 16 installed. And just on the start page, you'll notice that there's this new resource right here for the FileMaker Data API. So this is where you will find all the information about the new REST API available in FileMaker 16. Um, so here's your different methods and all the actions you can do. Um, so let's go ahead and just look at logging in. So to log in, this is the URL that we're going to need to hit right here. Uh, solution obviously being the name of the FileMaker file. And uh, in our case, it would be localhost, HTTPS, localhost, FMI, REST, API, auth. And then we're hitting our file, FM Quick Start v3. So I've gone ahead and going to be using this tool called Postman for sending um, different types of requests. You can do post, get, all that type of requests. And you'll notice that for this type, it is a post. So we need a post. This is the URL. These are our headers. So I'm going to show you how that's all set up in here. So it's a post. Here's our URL with the file name here. Our headers, we have content type application slash JSON. And the last thing we have in here is the body. Um, so if we look at our parameters, we need to include user, password, layout. Um, so here's an example of how that would look. And we've gone ahead and done that right here. So let's go ahead and hit send, and we should get our response showing the token. So all subsequent calls that we make need to include this token. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy that. And so let's go ahead and look at how we can do, um, how we can read some records. So we're going to get all the records. And we would use FMI REST API record. So before it was auth, and now we're using record. And then solution, and then layout name. So I've gone ahead and done that right here. So the name of our file and then the layout name. And you'll notice I created a specific layout specifically for um, web. Pull that up and so I named it web contact. And it doesn't need to be pretty, it just needs to be the fields that you need to access. So anything that is on this layout is going to be displayed in our results. So let me go ahead and update our header. You'll notice that our header is called FM data token and I need to update this with our new token and we'll hit send and this is the results so no errors the results are okay everything is stuffed into this data object right here so um, the first field we have the field data um, this is a container it just gives you a link directly to the URL for the, the image and then it also has all the portal data. So I don't have any addresses or any quotes, but I do have a few notes related to this record. So it gives us all that information. And then finally, it gives us the record ID and mod ID. And so it's just going to repeat that over and over. So if you're not familiar with the REST API in general, how they normally work is if I only wanted to get this first record, uh, so if I only wanted Bruce Wayne's record, I would include record ID number 39 at the end of this. So if I do 39, hit send, now I only get that one. So that is how you can restrict and get one record versus multiple. Um, let's go ahead and look at how we can create a record. So to create a record, we need to post, and we're going to post to the web contact layout um, our header. We need to make sure the content type is application JSON, and we need to update our data token there. And then we just pass in the body of anything we want. So um, I already filled this in, so let's go ahead and hit send. It's going to say result OK. The new record ID is 75. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. So you say 75, Joe Bob, new company. And it even created a new note record here. If you notice, because this portal is set to allow creation, when we posted right here, it created a new, a new record there. So 
uh, let's say we wanted to edit that. We would want to edit record number 75, and so you'll notice that the method is actually put instead of post now. And we're going to edit record ID 75. Again, we're going to update our token because this is a different request. And our body, we'll do, instead of Joe Bob, we'll do Joey Bob. And we'll hit send. And let's make sure it changed. Yep, Joey Bob. Perfect. Um, last thing we're going to do is just delete the record. Um, so that is the delete method. And we're going to delete record number 75. Let's see what actually happens when we don't include the updated um, token. So when we hit send, it's going to say invalid FileMaker data API token. So that is what you'll get if you have any errors. Um, all right. So there we go. It should be gone. And yep, we're down to 11 records instead of 12. Uh, this is not the same record. This is a different record from testing. Um, but yeah, that is how you do it most of the actions you want to do. There's a few other ones that we're not going to go over right now, but uh, specifically finding the find records is actually pretty powerful and you can do all your queries and your sorts and your offsets and ranges and portals. So there's a lot of options and um, a lot of different ways you can work with the data. And there's also the option to set global fields. Um, so if you have any fields that you need to set to make sure your data is correct in the system, that's going to be very useful. Um, one thing that you cannot do is actually run scripts in this. So everything so far is just you know, working with records. There's no script cr uh, running of scripts currently in the, in the current version. Um, actually, one last thing I did want to show is just when you're getting a contact, let's go ahead and look at this picture. So if you're, let me just copy that. If you're not familiar with uh, the PHP API, the, we used to have to use a container bridge to do this, and now it's actually fairly easy. You just need to point it to the URL, and boom. So that makes working with container fields a lot easier, and it's going to be really great. So, yeah, that is the brief overview. Hopefully you like the new REST API and put it to good use. Thanks.